Last week, I was in a workshop with some of the traders on market selection and why people are now moving away from gold and how they've come to these conclusions, how their debriefing has led to this. And performance in gold over the last month as a group has gone down. And this is partly to do with opportunities and more limited. It's also to do with the fact that traders have recognized this. They've seen that gold opportunities are less and they've moved on. So performance has gone down, mostly because participation in gold has gone down. So how are they recognizing this? And why are they able to move quickly? And all of this comes down to debriefing. When you debrief, most people debrief performance and they look at their P&L and they go, oh, well, it's, it's dropping off, it's not great. And they try and fight back. This is really common. You take a couple of losing days and people start fighting back. Saw this this morning on our private Discord, someone saying, I lost a couple of days and now I've got myself in trouble trying to fight my losses back. And that's quite common. That's really typical. Where traders don't fall into this trap is by not just debriefing performance and P&L, but by looking at their emotional attachment to trades, the way that they've reacted, the time that they're spending taking trades on. If you start to see that your frustration's building up, that you are constantly hunting new trades, that you're jumping from idea to idea to idea, this is part of the reason why your performance is gonna drop. And it's also often linked to the opportunities in a market reducing. What you need to be considering then is how your mentality and your approach to trades is changing because this is often an indication of a market shifting in terms of opportunity before you notice that come out in your performance. You don't wanna wait for performance to tell you to move on. You're looking at the way you approach things, how you're trading. We cover loads of this in terms of debriefing, of how to debrief from the mental side of things, you know, the, the frustrations that get you, the tilts that come up. And by doing this, you can recognize when you're getting out of sync with markets, when you're trading just purely fighting back versus trading from the perspective of openness, of being in sync with markets and recognizing opportunities. This is why a lot of our traders over March and even more so coming into April have drifted away from trading so much gold and they're moving back to things like the S&P, to things like Bunds. We're now starting to see people approaching currencies more because that's where they're identifying opportunities. But they're identifying opportunities because they're seeing and recognizing that there are indications, clear indications from their debriefs of not just performance, but of their mentality that are indicating opportunities are moving from one place and they can then start to objectively look for opportunities elsewhere rather than having their performance further diminished by a lack of confidence and a desire to fight back something that you're not going to recover if opportunities have gone away. This is one of the key aspects that we bring into that sort of final elite trader weeks of a career course. How you develop this mentality, how you develop this approach to debriefing the way you've traded, how you've traded, and not just from a performance perspective. This is what's allowed people to shift. This is where we see performance moving and what allows people to continue to make money throughout any environment by shifting market, by shifting through opportunities rather than plugging away at something that's perhaps not trading in the way that they'd like it to, not giving them the opportunities that typically they expect. Okay, I'm going to wrap that one up there though, guys. But first, I want to invite you to join our workshop. We've got a workshop running next week. Click the link below, get involved, come and join. I'll be showing you various different strategies and methods that our traders use to execute trades and how they do recognize when environments are shifting and how people are changing the way that they view different markets at any point in time. I'll catch you all soon.